an entomologist is literally, and in the academic world, is, is somebody who studies insects. Uh, insects are those animals that have three body parts and six legs. They also have antennae. They normally have wings, but not all of them. The Army's perspective on entomology is actually a little bit broader than that, uh, and we actually pretty much consider any sort of a pest animal to be within the, the purview or the, the area that an entomologist deals with. I was an environmental science officer first, so when I talked about field sanitation teams, that's a preventive medicine officer who deals more generally with food inspections, uh, water testing and things like that. Uh, I've been doing that since 2007 and then just April of this year, April of 2012, I was accepted for transfer over to entomology. Well, we are filming in Japan here and so the coolest bug that I've seen here is, is the uh, Japanese giant sparrow wasp, uh, which causes about 15 deaths per year. Very big, lots of venom, uh, and pretty cool looking too. The biggest problem the Army faces is, has still got to be malaria. It's, it's the deadliest thing out there and, and the most widespread. But the main thing that we're looking at in the Army is vector-borne transmission of illness, which means that the pathogen actually goes through a part of its life cycle within the body of the, the arthropod. Usually it's an insect in question. And then generally what they do is they'll bite a human. So they, they're usually blood feeders that do this, such as mosquitoes. Uh, and they'll actually pass that organism into the body and then the person becomes sick. The preventive medicine folks here on Camp Zama uh, do one mosquito collection per week. They do it at, at Sagamihara Housing Area and in, on Camp Zama. And so, you know, we supply them with the equipment that they need to do the trapping and then they bring us the mosquitoes once a week and then we sort the mosquitoes. The first thing we do is we pick out the males and this is something else interesting that, that a lot of people may not realize is that male mosquitoes do not bite people. Uh, they only feed on plant juices. So the first thing we do is we eliminate all of the non-mosquitoes and also the male mosquitoes. And then we have to identify the mosquitoes down to species and uh, sort them by what kinds of disease organisms they normally carry. So if it's an Anopheles mosquito, we know that we're going to give it to our pathogen detection lab to test for malaria. Uh, if it's an 80s mosquito, then we know we want to test for dengue fever, you know, et cetera, et cetera. The biggest thing that people ought to know, because as again, mosquitoes, mosquitoes are really what we focus on. Uh, mosquitoes breed in standing water. They don't breed in rivers. They don't breed in, in creeks that move along. They only breed in water that's standing still. And the biggest problem that, that people have with mosquitoes around their own homes are things like potted plants, aluminum cans, that'll sit there and fill up with rainwater, and that's a lot of standing water. And then there's things like, you know, just mud puddles that accumulate after a rain or something like that, which you can just take gravel and fill that in, and that will, that will eliminate the uh, mosquito's breeding area. And that's, I mean, that's a big thing that people can do. Spraying pesticide in your house is not always necessarily the first answer, because a pest needs three things. It needs food, it needs water, and it needs a place to stay. Take a good look, a good survey around the area and find out what these things are eating, where they're finding water, and where they're living. And then do what you can to mitigate those problems before you, before you start spraying as the first response. Uh, we also recently got involved with a project where we're collecting mites off of rodents. So we're doing some rodent trapping, and then when we get the rodent we have to kill it and scrape the mites off and put them in a preservation jar and ship them off to the Afram's lab in Thailand. My favorite insect is actually the praying mantis. Um, it's kind of unfortunate. To me, it's, it's, it's a pretty cool animal, but it doesn't have any medical importance to the Army, so it's not something that I'm ever going to be asked to really look at very much. Unless somebody someday, you know, says, hey, we've got a thousand praying mantises around our house, what do we do about it, you know? Which I guess could happen. And that, in a nutshell, is why the Army has entomologists to, to study, characterize, and so I've always been interested in animals, and uh, entomology seemed like the best way for me to apply what I love and help out the Army and help out soldiers.